Welcome, hoarders. Today we're playing some more Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, right now we're going to, uh, where is it? Strawberry to meet Sadie Adler at the bar. Um, that's going to be quite a distance away, so I will see you guys when we get there. Okay, we are in Valentine. I was for some reason thinking we were going to Strawberry, but Valentine's where we needed to go to meet her. I like how that song lasted just long enough to get there. To myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Enjoy your drink in peace. I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone. Or what? Oh! Ooh. Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you, get out of here. John Marston. It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton? That you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't know nothing about you. You, you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <gasps> she was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy some property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? You know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. Oh, oh it's legal. I'm usually. Then maybe. Come on then. What where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Okay. Come on. With her and her fucking horse from the Wizard of Oz. Son? Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? Uh-oh. So. I heard of someone sounding like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Yeah, we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. Ha <laughs> ha. This country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long. I hope to see Micah. That's like the only thing I really care about. With the way this game ends, I would love to have it end with me killing Micah more than anything. It, it kind of seemed like Dutch gave up on everyone, to be honest, at the end. There. Hey there, friend. But the you? thing is, right. if I'm not welcome here... Micah is, is definitely perfect. not wanted here because that jail straight up there okay. is where the jail right up there is where he was at. Wait. Oh. Ask around for Nathan Kirk. You seen a you seen a bald New Yorker name of Nathan Kirk? About 45? No, sir. If we get plenty of New Yorkers here. It's a resort town, you see. The Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it. But <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. 
Okay. Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Season? Good lord. Okay, go into the post office first then. Excuse me, friend. I'm looking for a Nathan Kirk, a fellow from New York. Got any mail for him? Kirk? Kirk? No. Not so as I would remember. Curly, I think. Oh, she's a woman. <laughs> Ask in the Welcome Center. Most tourists check in there. Okay. Thank you. I hate when that happens and you can't turn. Going to the Welcome Center. Oh, that's this building. Okay. Now I know what this is. You, uh... You seen a fella? A fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s s sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so... charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh... up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. Wonder if it's Micah. No, I said a bald guy. Well, I guess you could shave your head bald. You know? Oh, I didn't listen to where he said. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. Oh, stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! Jump down! Nathan Kirk. Remember, we want him alive, though. I know. Yeah. Let's go get him. He went right. Da -da 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 -da. Cool. Stay on it. I'll catch up with you. Where are you going? Shit. I guess I could always shoot his horse, right? Leave me alone. Why would I do something like that? He was just laying there. <laughs> Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I, I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. How are you, are you married, sir? Hey. Coming along, Liam? Quiet now. Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. I need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. Okay. She's still Quick, working at the saloon. Oh, yeah, my horse Let's is here. Let's go, girl. Okay, so we're going to go to Blackwater. That's not extremely far away, but I will see you guys when we get there. Okay, we are just outside of Blackwater now. Um, so we have to go to the bank and see uh, our boss's cousin, I guess. I guess we're supposed to just throw his name out there and then they're going to be like, Oh, okay, here's a million dollars.
Hello. Excuse me, sir. Can I can I help you? Good day. Welcome. Yeah. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Hello? Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> oh, that old dump? I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a rundown farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. So what, you oh, could owe a dollar and they still been having so many problems get it back? They'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. Okay, so I have to go where now? up to oh that's the actual farm thing okay we have to go up to what's hopefully our next or our new farm and then I assume I'm going to have to uh, talk to my wife and see what she thinks Which I can already assume how that's gonna go. Wow, it looks bad out. Looks like there's gonna be a storm coming. Uh, when I see people standing next to the road like that, he's still alive? No. That fucking blind guy. He can't be blind. He made it all the way here from Shawberry, and he's blind. Come here. Come here. Lord have mercy. Oh, hey, hey, come back. No, nope. I don't help people. I'm not all about that right now. And I did realize something. I had a plan on doing the videos of the legendary animals. But I don't think I can do them now, unfortunately. I guess unless I started the game over again, which I might actually do in the future. This is my property. Can I help you, friend? What is this, forty dollars? I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> Now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid, afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy damn city boy says he owns this land. Well, he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Uh. Look. Take some money. Go try and find somewhere else to stay. 
You for real, friend? Sure, take it. <laughs> you a real gentleman. Okay, boys. Let's go see Hey, they, they're not going to be back. Let's see if we uh, start working on that and get it nice looking. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Mm -hmm. Am I going to go John Marston? Or Jim Milton. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations, you are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let you so as long as I make my about. payments, I can <laughs> just joking. get bank credit to fix up my house. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> Oh. I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. Oh, not a problem. I'll come too. <laughs> no, you don't have to. Oh, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a... Uh, Slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> well, as long as he helps. We getting the old gang back together. That'd be cool. We could get, like, all the, like, original people that weren't assholes. Where we all the ones West. that basically West. left. Oh, God, ain't you a man of few words? I can see we're headed west. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I see. Well, now, where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but you know this makes me think. 
Maybe I was wrong. <laughs> this would be a nice place. Just bought this place. And you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. I hope this turns out to be a nice place. It ain't much, but okay. it will be. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the till. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. I know you're an idiot. I hope that turns into a nice place. Skip to like months ahead. Most of this is just going to be cleaning up the freaking land. And then building some stables and fencing. Or some fences and all that. Epilogue part two. Oh. Got our fencing up. Still got that same rundown shack. The thing is, though, once we start making money here, everything else is going to be much nicer. Hey, where's Uncle? Oh, he's hurting, isn't he? Working hard? <clears throat> it's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is <laughs> constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like grooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! Ow! <laughs> I I'm getting... <laughs> Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I went into town. And, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to San Denis. Charles. Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. This, I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Charles. I don't remember Charles. I might when I see him. Was he... the, like, priest or whatever? Right. Here we are! Come on, let's get off. Alright. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. We were in first class. Neither. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. Let's split up. Oh, is Charles the guy that had the uh that always wore the flannels? How about I take the saloons and you take the slums? Uh Ask about Charles at a saloon or the fence. There you are, the fact that my horse is here is weird. Um, I think Charles was the guy that wore the flannels and uh, had the weird hat. Oh, okay. 
Sure. He wore the blue flannel all the time. He's like the only Indian that was in our group. Likes fighting. Yeah, yeah. Bare knuckle guy. I think he's he's fighting tonight over at Saint Saturnine's. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem, bud. Saint Saturn. I I don't have fuck clue where that's at. Come on, lady. Laziness is a waste of time, Dave. Da da da. Somewhere back here. <laughs> what took you so long? Oh, good lord. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Ask that first barman I met. He told me Charles was here. <laughs> Not one of life's great mysteries, turns out. <laughs> I hate a massacre. And you are a killer. Holy you know what you got fuck. To do. I'm leaving now. He wasn't like that before. You don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Well, I kind of just... I don't know. I... I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So... So, another ranch hand. A bet. Come on, man. I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive too. Only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself to win. Lone wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing. I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Uh, I'll bet on him. If he bet on himself, I'll bet on him. Have I got a treat for you? An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not-so-noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Injun Hercules. The savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, Lone Wolf. Hmm. You know how this works? No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Oh. Don't black out just yet. Come on. Pretend he's Micah. What is this? Yeah, boy. Stay on feet, you hear? What the hell? Hit him, Lone Wolf. Yeah, boy. Come on, Lone Wolf. Better get you the hell out of here. Hey, Lone Wolf. Whoa. How? Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. So it goes. It's your share, partner. <laughs> we just made the bed. I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie You got dressed pretty We're, quick. We got a little place up past Blackwater in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few urns to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. He's an alcoholic. Okay, we gotta. Oh, we more than doubled uh, our money. We gave thirteen. 
and got well, 40 back. You mean back then? Which was a dumb Arthur thing to do to out. begin with, Gave me a chance to because if I would have lost, I then that would be harder to pay back the you bank. Know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. This is where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel, with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. Oh. I wonder if I can do all his missions now. Maybe he was true to himself. Him and his code. <laughs> that pig-headed bastard. You get sick like that, I guess you... You gotta cling to something. You was hoping to come out of it. Hope was about all he had left. Maybe all any of us have. Hmm. Anyway, I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but... One thing I know... He ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since... Well... That time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or... Since before I got off Sissica, they picked up Strauss, the agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened, all those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey! Uh, uh -oh. Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three! <laughs> <laughs> of course. You couldn't have thrown that fight! Or one of dead or alive already. It's our fault because they started shooting. Seems fair. Not yet. Keep your eye out. San Anita ain't short on police. I remember that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, the better chance we have. Of denying it, at least. No. Of we course. We can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. They take us in. We won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? Nope. I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. His briefcase is probably not going to stay in here very long. <laughs> you boys been off getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, you weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home.
I'd like to see, like, a fast forward to see what this ranch would look like. Because if you get a couple animals, they reproduce. You got more animals. Got cows. You can make milk. Sell the milk. Uh, get chickens. Sell eggs. You know, all that fun stuff. Um... Hmm. Uncle, and then what's the other one? Sadie. Uh, Sadie said she would meet you in Blackwater. Do I want to see her first? I don't know. I think we could go see Sadie. See if we can get... Ugh, sorry. See if we can get... Oh, never mind. Uh, feels like old times. <laughs> Good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. There he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired two dollar whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. <laughs> oh, darling Abigail. I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house a lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would <laughs> touch this place. Now, I reckon Let's start these horses can place. have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now, just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. Come on. It's coming! Ugh. Now we gotta build a new place. <laughs> See? I told you it wouldn't be no trouble. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? There's a fella by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's gonna Just tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. <laughs> Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. Yeah. Um. Come on then. So we gotta go do some home improvement. Ooh. Okay. Um. So we have to go into actual black water. That's not far at all. Um get materials and I'm wondering if we're gonna stop in and see Sadie as well Pretty much here. I want to see who is this? It's a bounty poster. I guess Sadie is the only one I can really even go to, right? Huh. I guess so. 
We'll have to do her mission and then I guess we'll get the wood. Or maybe... I don't know, I see a Does white... Sadie? You eat oh, here a John. lot? <laughs> Come sit down. Sure. You, uh, got any work? Yeah. I mean, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing, or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In the my last time, one. all three. But same as most people. I guess. Well, funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south, waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob him back. Is the money good? Yeah. It's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, <laughs> you say? Mm. South. Now come on, mount up. We Probably near neighbor. Tumbleweed. Of course we do. No, hey, no, hell? enough is enough. I didn't mean for that. Okay, Missy. Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, man. Oh, she's shooting at him. That new horse. Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. My ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. He ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. I'll come. Tree's good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, want to talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in San Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is going to be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there. Whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? 
Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But not now. Come on. I hope to find him now. Just one guy popped. Dead. Don't have to deal with him no more. Wonder how far this is gonna be. There's a spot up ahead where we can see over most of the country. They'll be down there. So, James oh. Lake, the bounty hunter, has got this outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house. Shane Finley, correct. If we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. Hope it's not that same thing. You have to go down that hole and then kill 400 we people. like mostly that town yeah hide behind a rock I'm sure that they would notice immediately where's the uh, binocular oh be quicker if we both look you got binoculars don't you I think I yeah. see something yup there they are down there who's who? on their way up well the bounty is the feller who's all tied up very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat, that's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? I don't know. Come on. Let's go follow him. Mount my horse. Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. Did I get... Oh. I got most of his stuff, huh? Wait, who? Guess I didn't. Wonder really how good the pay is. North through here? What are you doing, huh? 
you you talking to me or like to sorry I ain't used to having anyone with me my guess is they'll stop up ahead we can get a better look at them you know his naked pretty well mm? if you can't outgun them you gotta outthink them Hmm. It's one way to jump. Up here, get off your horse. This might be our chance. Shitting me. Coming off the back of the court. Young. I'm coming. What one has better range? That wait. That one has slightly better range. Come on, get over here. I am. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men, and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. <sighs> Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them, start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. Uh, I'd say sneak. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay, well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. I'll try. We're going down the canyon. Look out on these rocky paths. I don't see him. Yeah, they know. Was there another guy over here? I don't... Couldn't get too incredibly far without uh, without them finding out. As always, Arthur, huh? Or, yeah, Arthur. Good. 
sure take a while to get used to not being Archer. down here, fortunately. It's just the main guy now, or the bounty. Horsey, horsey, horsey. Are you with her? What's it look like? Shit! That damn harpy! God damn, horse. Okay, you're taking Finley. He is. I hope this isn't the exact same thing as the, uh, like the, the online story mode. Where there's like TNT halfway through here. Should be like right here. Definitely not the same as the online story mode or the co-op. She told you to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. You heard the lady. <laughs> I still protest my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed, kidnapped me, then let Langton kidnap me, then you killed them all and kidnapped me back. I'm the victim here. Damn you. John, would you be so kind as to shut him up? I never asked Look, for no problem. Don't listen to her. No, let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. Bad dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. How'd it work ain't easy, Joan? No. But I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And with Langton and his men gone, there'll 
will be more demand for our service. <laughs> Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now. Mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hi, I won't. But it would be good to have you here on some more. Grab him and bring okay. him in, John. Sure. You're a bitch and a best. Thank Brought you. in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. Let's go, buddy. Damn you! We're gonna watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, so yeah. I. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. <laughs> He's Here. just like, okay, yeah, you can There's do it. It's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm, I know. <laughs> uh. You want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> be well, John. I'll try to be. Um, We need to see about getting building materials. Yeah, let's let's go over there. Okay. See about getting ourselves some building material. Oh, shut up, horse. We barely even went any distance. Guess you have to go through the front. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot I know is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost efficient. <sighs> Which house do you want? <laughs> Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee you're home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, uh -huh, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. You write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. I wouldn't Albert say factory-built. You boys give me a minute. What are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle armed to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. They're Skinner's about. We need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's can be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devin, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... That looks like Milton. a fake beard. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're going to be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. Okay, so we need tools now. A lot of wood. Say, 
right. Is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash, so it's all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? I suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait. The, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire <laughs> a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. <sighs> All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon, but I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. Where were we? People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack, and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. Okay, I've been here before. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Time to get my tools. Nails, if I'm not stuck on that post. Nails, it's me. Willard Wing? Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. Okay. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any, mate? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils? Okay. <laughs> okay. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right then. Beecher's Hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, haven't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. Well. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Everyone find some cover! Yep. Wait, what?
village people. Shoot that last guy. Mr. Devin, you okay? Yes. That the last of them? I think so. There's more. They got the tools. They grabbed Mr. Wayne. All right, you stay here, guard the wagon. Charles, they got Wayne and the tools. Really? <laughs> Fucking assholes. That's a shotgun. Definitely. Oh, I shot his head right off. believe I shot that guy's head clean off. Mr. Wade! Can you hear? Charles, I found the tools. Now where's Mr. Oh wow. All right. Shit. I got the tools. Jesus. You got to move fast. Those are some Come on. fucked up people. Yeah, I know to return to the wagon. Where else am I going to go? Yeah, he checks the tree lines and stuff. Uh, yep, he sure does. He's the only one who died. I mean, other than everyone else. Like, all the enemy. All of the enemies. Get up top of the hill. Put my tools back on my wagon. And we can hopefully start building a house. Alright. Let's, let's get out of here. Dear Lord, no. Okay. John, I'm riding with you. 
Get us back to beaches. Those yeah, it's nice to know we live less than a mile away from them. Said he said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The skinners move around. But they're here for now. I thought this this kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? Uncle! Let's start building ourselves a home. Uncle! Uncle! You useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devon back to town. I'm gonna pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Well, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Bank loan received twenty three. Morning to you. I I owe them a lot, don't I? Um think I'm gonna be ending that episode there. Um we did quite a bit in this one. Uh and I really don't know how much more we have left to go, so I'm gonna be ending the episode there. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click one of my previous, next, and related videos. And don't forget to check out my other social medias in the description down below.